Hi everyone. Wow, a lot of people are in need today. Here is Joanne Steen, our fabulous, loving Joanne Steen. G'day guys, how are you? Um, Good to see you. Thank you for what I'm sorry for turning that on right now, but I'm going to let you listen to a few minutes. Joanne Steen too is, you know, I've never, ever, ever uh, um, seen Joanne ask for anything. But she is asking if you can help save Luna, her son's dog, who I guess has a tick-borne disease, is paralyzed. The vet bills are huge and if you can donate please do and I will link below to the GoFundMe. This is her grandson. This is beautiful Luna and they need a lot of money to save Luna, the beautiful family dog. Currently in ICU, uh, taking a turn for the worst. She is in need of a ventilation mask. You can read more and you can watch more of Joanne Steen's videos. But a lot of you who have been my subscribers for years also have been Joanne Steen's subscribers for years and whatever you can afford it would be really a big help for Joanne and her son and Luna and her grandson watching and I just thought I'd show some pictures of little Luna that's in ICU still uh, she's made it through the night. She's got to stay another night, which is going to cost thousands and thousands of dollars. And they weren't insured. And uh, she's a beautiful dog. And that's my grandson. And there she's on all the leads. So you know it's all legit. And she is very, very ill from a tick, paralysis tick, which is shocking. Um, but there she's there. They shaved all her fur off. She was a fluffy, fluffy dog. Uh, one of the a big, you know, you know the big fluffy, husky dogs. But she doesn't look like that now. But uh, she's made it through the night. She just survived, and she's still on drips. She's still on. Wow, what these ticks can do, guys! It's disgusting, isn't it? That poor dog. I mean, it's just from a bite, you know. There she's there, poor thing. Uh, but she was she massive fluffy. She was she's nothing like this. But of course she's not well. Look, you can see she's very very limp. And uh, but she has made it through. But if you can donate, guys, anything you'll do, say prayers as well. And uh, uh, it is a therapy dog for my son as well, who has um, brain damage and. A lot of things physically wrong with him from a fall he had at work for three feet off a ladder. Unbelievable. Two years he's been sick. He vomits all the time, blackouts, and now this. Unbelievable. Now they found mould in all their... Um, they had a flood about oh, six months ago, and the real estate left it there, and they got found black mould everywhere. And that's what made him ill. And little Leon, um, you saw the certificate there. I'll just read it to you. Uh, not only this has happened to them, but this is, could be life-threatening for my little grandson. Let's see here, what's it say? Mr. Leon Pierce has been assessed and has been found to have ongoing allergic bronchitis, what's that, rhinitis, and conjunctivitis attributed to the mouldy carpet and mouldy walls. In the current living situation, a change as such a change in the company is recommended. So they're going to be, they've got no money at all. This happened. Oh, I don't know. The devil works in horrible ways, you know. Uh, they don't deserve this little dog. Does not deserve it. 
It's a beautiful, happy dog. And there's little Leon. He doesn't know what's happening. He just knows his dog's there. <laughs> oh, let me get that. Okay, I will link below to this video. You can watch it to the end. Joanne, I am so sorry. Yeah, the devil, evil, um, it really does cause an awful lot of suffering. And we need to stand up to this evil. So I also want to say my dog, my German Shepherd, one of my German Shepherds, it was, I, I think the tick-borne disease that Luna has is different. But my dog suddenly, out of the blue, went paralyzed. She was walking and then started um, walking as if she was completely drunk, dropped to the ground, was paralyzed, was in the hospital, in the vet's office, um, getting some kind of IV drip. I can't remember exactly what it was. And then at home, I had to give her a hydrating drip and then I had to bring her back to the vet and it cost an awful lot of money. But within, I don't know, five days, I turn around and I see my dog walking. I'm like, okay, it, the onset, was immediate, sudden, and it was just as sudden that she was well again, and I hope that that is the case for Luna. So, yeah, we need to change. We really need to keep changing ourselves, reaching out, helping others, becoming a community, People are not going to survive. Dogs are not going to survive if we don't help one another. So I really do hope that everybody helps Luna, helps Joanne, helps Joanne's son and grandson. All links are below. Joanne, years of this, huh? Years and years of this, Joanne. You're still here. I'm still here. <sighs> Sending much love to you.